Hello, good morning, and happy new moon in Taurus. Um, we are going to show our little astro board that has been created. Um, these are the houses that go around the first house, house Aries that I am, and then moving into the second house of Taurus. And maybe we'll just mostly focus on that little area today, because that's where we're having the, the planet party. <clears throat> All right, so um, I don't know if you're able to see a whole overview of the chart here. Can't quite tilt it, we've got a little high up. We had to move out of the sun because it is really beaming hot out there. So speaking of the sun, here we go. It's represented by a little sunstone pyramid and the sun is, is in Taurus. So we'll be moving into Gemini um, after the weekend but it's just, I believe, at 28 degrees of Taurus right now, aligned with the new moon. So we have a moonstone here to represent that new moon in Taurus today at 28 degrees. It happened this morning uh, eight, at about 8.53, or maybe precisely 8.53. Um, so yeah, really taking this time to like dream into what is, what's in the second house? It's the over here, Jovi, is that this is the first house. I still, I was etching this with a, um, like a fire burner. And maybe just come out a little bit. Yeah, that's a little close. <laughs> we're just, um, I've got a new uh, film director happening here. And so we're just practicing in, in recording these readings. Um, second house is right here. And also what just moved in is Jupiter. So Jupiter being the planet of X expansion, expansion and truth. And now that it's moved into Taurus on May 16th, we're going to have Jupiter in Taurus for the next year. And what this is going to bring is expansion and um, growth in the area of our material belongings. So this is kind of an exciting time for people who are wanting to experience growth in this area. Also, we've got Mercury, and Mercury is being represented by an uh, appetite crystal here, which is communication. <laughs> Taurus is also represented, the body part is the throat chakra. I have many, many, many beautiful Taurus friends throughout my life. Um, like Chiron is also in Taurus, which is our gifts and our wounds. Um, so the Tauruses, each, each um, astrological sign represents a place in the body. And, Taurus is this place of the throat. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see a lot of Tauruses actually can play the didgeridoo. I have just noticed. Um, they tend to be really connected to the, to the earth and these deep, um, these deep things in life. The throat, throat singing. Throat singing is a great way. And also actually, I do believe Mercury, well, no, it just finished its retrograde, actually. We just finished Mercury retrograde. So now we'll start to move a little bit forward now through Taurus before going into Gemini. Well, folks, that's a little brief introduction into um, today's astrology. Venus and Mars are still in Cancer, which is a softer, softer um, Cancer's right over here, Jody. And we have yet to go and pick up the Venus and... Um, Mars sphere. I think we'll probably get carnelian for the Mars or fire agate and some rose quartz for Venus. All right. Thank you all. Have a happy new moon.